All right, guys. So welcome to another video. And yes, we are talking about the Poco X3 Pro and Lineage OS 19.1, which is, of course, based on Android 12.1. And this is an unofficial version of this ROM. I flashed it a couple of days back. And since then, I have been very, very excited to share this review with you guys. You'll know that by the end of this video. But before we get into the details, if you haven't already, please subscribe because it doesn't cost you anything. And it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. Now, without further ado, hello, awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kailash. Let's get going. Now let's see what we have here. We have Lineage OS 19.1 unofficial. I am Kushil 2012 is the maintainer. Device is a Poco X3 Pro. This works fine on YU and Beema both. Android version is 12.1. And the build date is, of course, the 28th of April 2022. Now, the changelog says initial Android 12L release, April security patch, OS is based. Does not include GApps. So, you'll have to flash GApps separately. Let me know in the comment section if you want me to make an install guide. SE Linux status is enforcing as safety net should be passed. Now, let's talk about the important stuff here. The first thing that I noticed after flashing this ROM and allowing it to settle down for a couple of hours, you know, when the app installs happen and it's syncing all the data from the servers, that's when uh, initially a lot of phones uh, tend to be jittery. Even the flagships like OnePlus 10 Pro and stuff tend to be jittery on initial set setup. But after the setup was done, the experience, the touch in this has been really, really smooth, really, really cohesive. This is by far one of the smoothest ROMs that I have seen on this particular device. Now, even if you look at the Google feed, which is something we check for smoothness, this for the first time I feel is the level of Mi 11X custom ROM, AOSP ROM, smoothness as far as the Google feed is concerned. Just look at this. There is just no hiccup at all. It works beautifully well. So probably the smoothest ROM that I've seen. Even if you talk about the app icon animations, you know, they are quick, they are precise and they work absolutely fine. That is a good thing. Now the camera application included in this particular ROM is a very, very basic ROM because uh, remember this is Lineage OS 19.1 and it comes with very, very minimalistic things. The apps included in this particular ROM are very, very basic, not a lot of bloatware. In fact, no bloatware at all. So all the other apps that you see are installed by me for testing and stuff. Now, basic functionalities like calling and other features are present and they work absolutely fine, of course. Now, this call ended is because of my SIM card, not because of the ROM. The ROM is working absolutely okay. Now, if we talk about the quick tiles over here, first of all, why do we have dark mode? We don't have dark mode. So that's how the tiles on Lineage OS 19.1 are set up right you do have a built-in screen recorder which allows you to record internal and external audio and because this is our first encounter with lineage os 19.1 we are going to do a screen recorder test look at this even when i'm recording the screen the smoothness is just there there is no problem whatsoever matter of fact i did install bgmi on it and uh, i did try gaming i think uh, later you know maybe once this rom has one or two more updates i will go ahead and do a gaming review about it as well but for now i can tell you that the screen recorder is pretty smooth the gaming experience is pretty fluid although you don't get the 90 fps gaming experience you will have to flash a magis module for that now, if you go to the edit menu of these quick tiles you do have things like caffeine ambient display your low you know privacy access tiles extra dim reading mode heads up so it's it's a minimalistic basic rom but it does have quite a lot of customization is a good thing over here now if you go to the home settings you will see that you have a very very basic launcher from the team of lineage os and that works absolutely fine if you go to the multitasking menu you will see that you have a screenshot option at the bottom and uh, yeah it's cohesive it's very very smooth if you click over here, you will get the multi window option and stuff like that. As you can see, split top, there you go, split bottom, right? So multi window is present and that works absolutely fine. The app icon animations are pretty solid. The memory management on this particular ROM is pretty beautiful as well. Now, if you go to about phone and if you go to Android version, you will see that this is Android 12. But of course, this is Android 12 L with April security patch. And the kernel over here is the lineage kernel for this particular device, which is a good thing. So sooner or later, we will have the official tag for this particular ROM. Let's go to settings and see if we have any customization in this particular ROM. Network and internet, pretty basic stuff. Wi-Fi calling and everything else works fine. Bluetooth working fine. 
you have all apps now notifications you do have android 12's notification history option present bubbles present working fine now you do have thermal profiles over here which is what i've used to run the benchmarks and the battery life on this particular rom is pretty rock solid as you can see i've had 2 hours and 39 minutes of screen on time over a period of one day and 12 hours and i did switch off the phone for some time so all in all the battery backup on this rom is pretty decent it's not rock solid per se i did play bgmi for an hour and the gaming experience was pretty solid as well i don't know about scrims and competitive games but for normal bgmi casual players if you play one to two hours a day this rom will give you a pretty pretty decent experience the charging speeds on this rom are pretty good as well you do get things like battery manager battery light you do have a led over here so all those features are present and they work fine if you go to the sound menu you do have the mi sound enhancer with hi-fi available you can increase the vibration for your haptic feedback and you do have some additional options as far as sound customization is concerned now moving on if you go to display settings you have screen timeout all the basic options available along with live display you have a 180 degrees of rotation angle available as well in auto rotate you can set the refresh rate of course this is a 120 hertz display that we are talking about and you also have per app refresh rate now this is a feature that has started showing up in a lot of custom roms and that is always a good thing right if you go to wallpaper and style unfortunately themed icons is missing over here but if you change the wallpaper you will see that monet ui is present and it does a pretty splendid job as you can see monet doing its job let's quickly go to home settings here and uh, add app icons to home screen no lock layout so i don't really see the option of themed icons available over here which is fine no major issues there if you go to security you will see that you do have fingerprint unlock available over here right i don't see the option of face unlock which is a little unfortunate because it's working fine on android 12 powered devices now if you go to system over here you do see that you have different system profiles you can make one for gaming as well and make some changes if you wish if you go to the buttons menu you have invert layout end call with the power button answer call reorient the buttons show panel on left click to partial screenshots these options are available you do have some status bar customization for example this is quick pull down and this is a normal pull down system icons can be enabled or disabled clock position can be set to the right or left of course because it doesn't make any sense to have it on center because we have a punch hole camera over there battery percentage can be changed and brightness control options are available as well now if you go to the gestures menu you don't really have a lot you do have the android 12's one-handed mode and uh, yeah lift to check phone and all the basic functions are available so all in all if you ask me lineage os is doing a pretty splendid job overall as far as the charging speeds and battery backup is concerned the smoothness is just next level on this particular rom but what about performance so let's go to google photos over here right now as you can see the cpu throttled to 90 percent of its max performance and the average was 176 519 gips along with the maximum 189.806 GIPS and uh, we are in Google Photos over here. So uh, let's see. Yeah, it doesn't have Google Photos unlimited storage. We did run Antutu benchmark as well. And the score that we received was pretty solid, 598,823, almost 600,000 points. So that's very, very nice as far as the Antutu score is concerned. Not that it means everything, but not only the ROM is smooth, it is scoring well, which goes hand in hand. 757 single core and 2489 multi core. So overall, the benchmark numbers are pretty decent. But one thing that I have a concern about is it should have had device certified, but it does show device device not certified here so that is something the developer can probably work on but over and above everything lineage os 19.1 unofficial is going in the right direction you can definitely try this as a daily driver let me know in the comment section what do you think about this exciting new rom until the next one this is kalash signing off at phone ops keep smiling take care goodbye